Hey guys, welcome back. We were on the topic of uh, salts and I have introduced you with the three methods for the salt preparation. Afterwards, I have shifted you people on the titration topic and uh, we started the details about titration. And on this page, if you're looking into, we have started the topic of indicators types of indicators, different color changes, etc. And uh, here, the final and the very important thing is this, that acid and alkali, which are reacting with each other to give a titration product, both of them are soluble. And they are giving you a soluble product, which is salt. And water is being not considered as soluble in water. So water is a, just a product in which that salt has been dissolved. Titration is basically based upon neutralization reaction. Okay. And what was neutralization? Guys, let me inform you very clearly. Sometimes examiner is asking, define neutralization. What is neutralization? Okay. What is the name of the reaction when an acid and an alkali are reacting? What is the name of the reaction when an acid and a base are reacting? So sometimes very simple type of questions can be asked as well, but not all times. Okay. So right now I am taking you to the next page. And here we have discussed this thing that indicator is finally changing the color at end point. Okay. Indicator will change the color at what point it is called an end point. And what is the color change? Examiner is asking color change. Whenever color change, it means you have to tell the first color and you have to tell the second color as well. Okay. And first color is always according to the flask partner and the second color is always according to the burette partner so if we have taken an alkali in the flask the first color will be according to an alkali and the second color will be according to the burette if we have taken the acid in the in the in the uh, flask then first color will be according to the acid and the second color will be according to the burette so and the burette will have the alkali definitely okay so this is how we are going to discuss we are going to deal with neutralization and with the color changes of an indicator okay so right now what we can say is this for example i am taking you to the first example of uh, neutralization salt that is called uh, titration salt particularly and that is uh, sodium chloride and acl guys i am asking you again and again to develop the habit of writing the formula in a proper way now it has a uh, target to prepare NaCl okay and along with that definitely water will be produced always okay so in all titration reactions water will be produced okay now guys from this formula you have to judge this thing that what will be the acid what is the acid which is the source which can be a source of Cl you already know this thing that there is an acid which is called HCl and that will be the source for NaCl, okay? And that will be the source of basically Cl part of NaCl, okay? So we can say this is the source for this part only, okay? This, only this, okay? Now, we have to have a source of Na as well. What is the source of Na? It can be one of the one of the base and what can be that base it can be an alkali or it can be a base and what can be that it is uh, it is NaOH okay so it is a water soluble base and that is called an alkali so here we are just saying this thing this and it is a source for this okay guys can you look at their thing this that this these remaining parts these remaining parts which are H and OH are making what are making H2O okay Okay. So remember this thing that how you are going to handle this. Basically, after this reaction, NaCl will be produced. Now, for example, if any of the student is preparing and if examiner is not saying you anything and you are going to take this in the flask, then definitely you have to take NaOH in the burette. Okay. In the burette. Okay. And what is what what flask is this? It is called as conical flask. Conical flask okay now for example which indicator we are going to use sometimes examiner is saying prepare sodium sodium prepare sodium chloride by the reaction of hydrochloric acid and NUH while taking phenolphthalein as an indicator or while taking methyl orange as an indicator okay so for example this time examiner is saying you to take methyl orange as an indicator okay 
methyl orange as an indicator we already know this thing that with acid it is red in color and with base uh, i mean to say an alkali definitely an alkali it will be what color yellow okay try to write the clear clear color changes okay now we have taken hcl in the flask and how to write this salt now sometimes examiner is giving six lines seven lines now number of lines are getting increased which is just telling you that you have to write everything in great detail one more thing is this that all those salts which are prepared through titration method will be washed with alcohol will be washed with alcohol that point i am going to write uh, titration salts will be washed washed through what alcohol okay titration salts uh, will be washed through alcohol why as they are soluble as are water soluble okay now i am telling you about the other methods as, as, as well this is excessive reagent method excessive reagent method and its salt will be washed with alcohol as well and what is the reason as it is as uh, are soluble as are water soluble but what about the third method the third method is ionic precipitation ionic precipitation which is particularly for insoluble salts no so i have discussed this thing already with you that these are for insoluble salts this method is for insoluble salt so this salt which is prepared from this method will be washed with water as are insoluble okay so first two method salts will be the products will be washed with alcohol what is the purpose of washing to have neat and clean product to have neat and clean crystals okay so this is the purpose of washing examiner is sometimes asking why it is important to wash a salt with alcohol why it is important to wash a salt okay to so get the neat and clean product now i am writing the uh, writing the salt here how to write the salt so we have taken hcl in the in the flask 25 cm cube of hcl is taken in the conical flask with the help of a pipette of a pipette Full stop. Two dash three drops of methyl orange indicator. Indicator are added. Added. Full stop. Red color is observed. full stop drop wise drop wise n a o h is added from the burette from the burette to the flask until until the color change is observed change is observed from from red to yellow okay full stop titration is repeated now the reaction is completed okay titration is repeated with same volumes volumes but without indicator without indicator full stop salt solution basically why without indicator to avoid the contamination of indicator okay salt solution is shifted from flask to china dish flask to china dish full stop or comma heated till saturation 
heat it till saturation full stop crystals are obtained through filtration crystals are obtained through filtration filtration full stop or comma washed with alcohol washed with alcohol comma dried in the layers of dried in the layers of filter paper okay so this is the way dried in the layers of filter paper okay so this is the way to prepare the salts of uh, uh, titration method okay so i am going to explain this method to you by practicing more salts of titration method two or three more salts we are going to prepare through titration method hence in this way the things can become easier for you thank you very much take care of yourself see you in the next class